So hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you one step solution for all your placement needs. So friends today we have a Sri Kant here and last year he got placed in TCS. So first of all I wanted to congratulate uh, Sri Kant. So congratulations Sri Kant for your success in TCS. Okay so today we have Sri Kant here and he is going to guide you like how to prepare for your upcoming TCS drive how is TCS so now he is also working in TCS so he has already he has already joined TCS so he will give you in and out of uh, each and everything and uh, your preparation technique and how was uh, his exams last year so friends pattern wise if you'll see there is not much change only 15 minutes coding uh, is extra this year and some part of reasoning so let us talk to him so yeah Srikant so once again uh, congratulations yeah thank you Okay, so uh, students are waiting for you. Uh, so you need to guide them and you need to tell like uh, how was the exams last year. So now it's your turn. So you can take the floor. Uh, so last year when I attended the exam, okay. it was like uh, was mixed with a multiple choice actually multiple choice and the fill up the blanks. So okay. for that they have divided uh, marks between both for the fill in the blanks. You can fill the answer and no negative marking for that. So as for multiple choice, uh, if you mark it wrong, you will be awarded negative. So that was how it was uh, with respect to aptitude. And coming to the coding part, uh, 20 minutes were given and mm -hmm. one big coding uh, question was given. That was actually I did not solve the question, but I tried to get into the core of the question and uh, tried somehow uh, to put the basic stuff of that. Okay. And that has helped me actually to clear the test. So in order to clear the test, you no need not to code uh, properly like uh, it is not required mm -hmm, but at mm -hmm. least you need to be uh, good enough to at least uh, write the basics and maybe understand the what is the requirement in that uh, code and try to solve according to that if you do that uh, it's pretty much clear that you can go through that account okay so if i wanted to know the level of uh, you know aptitude last year so how, how was the level of the aptitude exam uh, it was uh, pretty difficult actually okay so i have attended tcs for the second time uh, when i got placed well, for the first time it was pretty easy but most of them were attended that thing mm -hmm. and for the second time they have actually uh, put uh, colleges to very far so that most of the people couldn't make it to there mm -hmm. so that was one advantage for me mm -hmm. and having said that uh, my effort also paid off okay mm, so aptitude was a bit tough actually it was not so easy yeah, so from the last year only and this year the sample sample paper also they have released and the level is uh, also good. So yeah, definitely. So basic and plus uh, some sort of difficult questions we need to practice. Yeah. And uh, what about verbal ability, uh, coding MCQs? I mean, uh, we will do one by one like the level and other things. Yeah. Uh, coding MCQs was uh, not that difficult. Okay. Like if you know the basic technical stuff, uh, you could actually guess them uh, mcqs was not that difficult uh, with respect to co technical stuff okay 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 so that was uh, okay uh, okay and verbal ability and to, uh, yeah uh, vulnerability i faced few difficulties there but somehow i think i have uh, cleared that one okay okay great 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 okay so after all these rounds so uh, you had uh, um, your uh, technical interviews and uh, HR interview, right? Yeah. Okay. So one thing uh, which I wanted to make clear here to the students. So last year, uh, the recruitment was only for the TCS. So even though some students who performed well in aptitude, uh, verbal ability and uh, MCQs. So even though they did not get the output for the 20 minutes coding, but still they were able to, uh, you know, clear the examination. But this year yeah. uh, there will be little challenge because these marks are going to get sad with the other uh, you know companies. So here they will definitely look at that coding aspect. So coding, uh, you should be you know uh, the execution should happen. It should be proper. Then you'll yeah. be getting a good score and uh, the chances of getting placed in other companies because NQT is uh, you know this time they're going to share the scores too. Of all of the companies, other companies, and even TCS will also hire based on that. Yeah. So uh, I hope this would be clear to the students. And then, uh, like, what about your technical uh, interview and HR interview? Yeah. 
So coming to the technical interview, I was uh, very nervous actually when I entered in the room. Okay. Uh, there were two people sitting. One uh, one is an aged guy with uh, he may be around fifty to fifty five, and the mm-hmm. other one was like thirty five to forty in between okay. that. Okay. So okay, uh, once I entered the hall, they just asked these basic questions like introduce yourself uh, and all. Mm-hmm. And the biggest challenge I have faced is like I have expected this question. I am basically from EC stream. Okay. Why EC stream? So this is the one question that any student can expect. So in technical only are, they asked you like. Uh, yeah, in technical only they asked you, and again in the HR interview uh, they asked the same question. Okay, so in technical so can you? We, yeah. You we can. will be facing this question most often. Mm-hmm. Uh, like if if we are from the other stream, then mm-hmm. we definitely have to prepare for that answer. Like why we are getting into IT. Mm-hmm. and uh, i told like uh, i'm interested and passionate towards coding and mm-hmm. then that guy actually stuck with that particular line he said if you're passionate towards coding you should be able to code anything and he just gave one uh, random requirement and he gave one uh, piece of paper and asked me to code around one, one and a half page uh, oh i did that a few mistakes uh, later on he asked me to explain the code uh, i explained in the code mm-hmm. and that went well uh, it was cool so can you tell and like what, later, uh, do you remember what exactly they had asked you uh, i mean yeah, what was the uh, random like scenario basic things not that uh, difficult mm-hmm. uh, take uh, some thousand students uh, data mm-hmm. and within that data i need to print the top 20 students list mm-hmm. and after that i need to consider one particular subject and need to print a list of students who are taking marks in between 95 to 100 that is the requirement Okay. and i did use a sort technique for printing the top 20 and one if condition for printing marks between 95 to 100 okay 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 great 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 okay then what was the next question in the technical round uh next question it was like uh yeah why is it to it again uh, mm-hmm. then they uh, asked me like in the four years what have you learned in ec they just came to my core and they asked a few questions based on ec core Mm-hmm. like what are resistors what are capacitors okay why do we use them uh, their applications everything okay and after that uh, yeah uh, that was it and then this uh, other lady took over mm-hmm. she was like uh, what which is your favorite subject uh, mm-hmm. the uh, four subjects you have studied okay um, i said uh, digital electronics mm-hmm. and considering that uh, she actually gave me a question okay she uh, she gave me a question and asked me to solve that and okay. i did able to because um, i know i was prepared for that mm-hmm. okay so i did able to solve that and then they had no questions but uh, just this much has took me around 40 minutes 40 minutes interview yeah, yeah. 40 minutes in just technical round okay okay, okay. and they said uh, hey all the best you can just uh, leave the hall now Okay, okay. Oh, when they said all the best, I knew that uh, I got through this uh, round. Mm-hmm. So I said, I just left the hall. And from there, I need to wait around two hours to get my HR round. Mm-hmm. And in HR round, the same questions like introduce yourself and why EC to IT. And I did not expect uh, HR person to get into technical stuff, but he did get into technical stuff. Oh, it just saw my. Yeah, so you know database, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And he asked me the difference between primary key and the uh, foreign key. Mm-hmm. He asked few questions related to database, and then he was just uh, talking normally, like, "What are your interests?" Uh, I said traveling. He said, uh, "What is the recent place you have visited?" He was inquiring everything about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was it, and that got over. And after the HR round, he said. now i came back but i was not confident with the hr on the way i gave answers i was pretty nervous mm-hmm. but I, somehow i cleared that but technical stuff uh, it was it was good actually it went for 40 minutes okay. so it did happen fine but hr round it was around uh, 10 to 12 minutes maximum okay 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 so uh, like from how many months uh, you are working in tcs so uh, it's now 10 months now Oh, it's uh, you are going to complete almost like you know a year. Wow. Okay, I so mean. so how is TCS and uh, how is working in TCS the culture and the experience and uh, uh, you are working in like uh, which domain like development or testing? So just yeah. little bit about yeah. Uh, so coming to TCS, TCS we as we all know biggest uh, MNC in India. Yeah. So when I came here, there was initial training there uh, mm-hmm. called as ILP, Initial Learning Program. So it was a program about uh, three weeks of time. 
Mm -hmm. And at the end of the program, even here I was given a code. So if, if I crack the code, only then I'll get released from ILP. If not, it will be extended for one week. Uh, that, that code completely depends on hacker line coding. Mm -hmm. okay. So we need to, uh, so I have cleared that coding and I've got released from ILP. Mm -hmm. And getting into the project uh, uh, as, a, as a fresher, I would expect like to get into a development project like most of yes, us. Yes, yes, yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, but uh, somehow I got into automation testing project. That's good so, actually. Uh, it is going cool as of now. There's no worries. Uh, team lead is pretty good. They're so supportive. Like as a fresher, they will not uh, pressure you much. Mm -hmm. They'll say they can understand like what can you contribute to the project. They'll give you the regular KTs and try to get maximum out of you. Mm -hmm. So it is going good now. Okay, great, great. Okay, so uh, I mean. Uh, now I wanted you to guide the student, like how should they prepare and uh, you know about a YouTube channel also as you are one of our students. Uh, so I just wanted to, you know, guide them like how so because uh, right now everybody has a lot of pressure, like how should I prepare? How yeah. should I get more and more marks? How should I get selected in yeah. TCS and other companies? So for that only, yeah. like I wanted you to be here so that you can guide them. Okay. So be relaxed, be cool and what exactly they should follow uh, so that they will be able to uh, crack the examination. Okay. Uh, coming to the aptitude, you need to prepare basics. You need to prepare problems on trains, uh, work on time. They, are, they will be compulsory there. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot miss them. And once you're done with that, with the aptitude stuff, you have a few more concepts like uh, number stuff, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to get practice. Like only if we practice much, then only aptitude comes. It will. It is not that easy skill. Mm -hmm. And coming Technical part, uh, like if you're from CS or uh, IS, uh, I know you will do uh, do well there. Mm -hmm. But if you're from that background, then you uh, basically need to go back to PCD or something, some subject which you would have studied in your engineering first year. Mm -hmm. Go back to that coming, uh, get at least basics out of it mm -hmm. and can prepare for the uh, technical coding part. Coming to the coding, you need to practice. Like uh, you have so many online compilers these days uh, and online uh, teaching stuff. Mm -hmm. You need to at least be good at one particular programming language. Either It can be either C, C++, Java, it doesn't matter. But because uh, as we know, we'll get five coding languages in TCS test. Mm -hmm. So we can pick uh, on any one of them, but we need to be at least good for the basic part. Mm -hmm. True, true, so basic. Is going to play so see uh, earlier like when you guys were there that time we have one around 100 videos now we have put around 457 videos as of now and uh, we are daily you know increasing the videos aptitude videos i think it will be more than 200 so uh, yeah. at, at your time it was very less so we had only you know that time only we had started it and uh, the last year only we gave like very good number of results so more than 5000 results we gave from online study for you itself so yeah so we are like continuously trying to help them uh, with the videos uh, that is how you know we can help them personally actually so yeah let's see so and uh, definitely so you guys support uh, has to be always there because these are the students uh, those who will uh, get motivated from you guys and uh, they will learn okay so how basically see the practice is one of the key and uh, they have to stick to that and then yeah. only we will be able to achieve and there is nothing to worry and hurry so if you're cool and if you prepare well uh, that should be sufficient so thanks Ikant, uh, for coming here and uh, guiding the students and uh, like uh, from all in history for you yeah so uh, we are really very happy to uh, you to be here and uh, we always feel very happy when our students those who have cleared the examination and they come and they talk and they motivate and students. one more point i would uh, like to make here yeah like uh, i had bought your material before the uh, facing the interview and that has helped me a lot actually okay and i thank you for that yeah i will come okay so srikan so i'll be taking off and i'm um, i'm really very much uh, you know uh, thankful to you because you uh, got some time for us and that too in the night like around 11 15 in the night uh, to guide the students so thanks once again and uh, we will see you again uh, on our channel thank you